So to create a collage in Canva with a number or a letter, there's two ways of doing it. The first way you want to do is I already created this earlier. So what it is, is a, you can just go ahead and like create a whole collage and then download it and then re-upload it into Canva. And then you can go into your frames. I already got a couple of frames like picked out in here and you just go in here and then let's get those. I'm going to cheat and go this way and go move this to front. And then you can just drop it in there. And let's go back to uploads and grab another copy of it and grab it and go in there. And then you can just double click it and move it around, make it bigger, make it focus on what you want, and then do the same thing on this one. You want it slow, smaller, whatever, and make it focus on what you want that way. If you're doing something like that where you're not really looking to focus on a certain thing, you can do it that way, and that is the easy way to do it. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one. Let's delete this whole one. And now we're going to do it if you want certain pictures to show within your number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to detach this image, and I'm going to trash it. What I want to do now is I am going to go into photos and I'm just going to grab random photos. I'm not even trying to do anything special with these. So I'm just going to grab random photos. And what I'm going to do is I am going to put them. First of all, I'm going to lock this. And there's a reason I'm going to lock this because this right now is just my guide. So if you want to unlock it and change it into like a dark color so you can see better like black and then go in there and lock it. And that way, when you're manipulating your pictures over top of it, you can not see it will not grab it. So let's see, you can size your pictures however you want to. If you want to take the borders and round them up a little bit, you can go ahead and do that to make different sizes. But what you want to do is kind of get your pictures. If you have something in the center you want to do, make sure that stays in the center, but kind of start layering your pictures how you want them. So just like grab it and say you want just her face. We're going to grab hers. And what we're going to do is just layer these all the way around in whatever sizes you want. So let's say you want to do her and then we're going to put her like over here. I'm not going to do this like very beautiful or anything like that. We're just doing it to do. And a little other thing you want to do, kind of go a little bit over off the sides here so we can play with it when we get it back from what we're going to do with it. So just take this and we'll put this one like down in the corner like so. We want the kids over here and maybe this one and just the face sideways this way and i'm not going to do this like really fancy or anything like that i am just trying to show you how so you're just going to take them and you're just going to layer them however you want to in your collage you want to put a lot of pictures in there you put a lot of pictures but you're going to cover up your number, letter, whatever you're doing. And let's grab this random one. And what I did earlier too for filler, say, say you got a weird spot you just don't know what to do with and you just want to color or I think I had lights. I used something that looked like lights. What I did with that is I just put something random here that was like some lights looking stuff. So you want a little teacup or something at the end. So what I'm going to do is make a little teacup, like so, and put that over on the end. And now that everything is covered, what you want to do is go, of course, you want to go into positions and make sure everything is where you want it to be looking. So like that is on top. I want to make sure that is in the back, around that, that part is showing. I need, to, I want her over top of that, so I'm going to move that forward. Um, that's good right there. And so you, then you just want to make sure they're positioned in the right position. After that, you're going to grab your two, you're going to unlock it, and you're going to delete it. Now what we want to do is we're going to go and we're going to download this. So I'm going to download it as a PNG. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to add it page. I am going to bring in my PNG that I just created. I am going to go to elements, and I am going to grab a frame, the, the number two frame. And now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that inside of there. Let me see. And then I'm going to double click on it. And I am going to make it the size that I need to fill in that too. So 
let me get some little movement going around here and make sure that I fill in my two in the area that I did. And I'm going to look, I see a little piece of the two up there. So let's go up a little bit and let's click on it. And there we go. And now we have our two filled in perfectly with the pictures the way we wanted them and not random like from the other photo. And that's how you do that. That's a, it's not that much harder than the other process. It just takes a hot minute more to do that and a little bit more strategizing to put your pictures in. But it's that easy. And I wanna thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate every single one of y'all. I love you guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye y'all.